Hi. Bonjour, Anan. Comment ça va? Bien, très bien, toi. Oh, merci. Okay. Hello, Robert. How are you? Happy Eid. Thank you. Okay, Eid Mubarak to you too. And now let's move to technology. We bring you the continuation of last week's interview with a Nokia executive on the smart cities concept. 18 African Union member states led by Rwanda have signed up for the Smart Cities project, which integrates ICT and Internet of Things technology to manage the assets of their cities. This basically means schools, power and water supply networks, transportation systems, and every other community service will be controlled digitally using real-time monitoring systems. This is expected to improve the quality of life. As Big Brother is virtually taking over control, the question that lingers is, are we going to lose our jobs when this happens? Nokia's Director of Solution Line Management in the Global Digital Economy Practice, Dr. Munir Zudi, had this to say. Absolutely not. In fact, the idea here is to create more jobs. Uh, and these are some of the things that will come uh, from the small city initiatives, because not only you're going to try to monetize uh, existing processes, but you're going to try to create so many new cases, so many things that haven't even existed before. Uh, so uh, what, what you will see is a shift in the, in the skills that are needed. Right. So maybe before there was a little bit more requirement on, on labors and, and things like that. While you see there will be more shift for a little bit more advanced skills, you know, more engineering, more IT skills, you know. Uh, so the result will be really more jobs added because of this initiative. But there will be a shift in the skills that are required. So there will be an expected evolution uh, in, the, in the skills of the, of the workforce. That was Dr. Munir Zudi, an executive officer at Nokia. He's assuring us that jobs will not be lost, but rather they will be created when our cities become digitized. And now to Tanzania, where a six-year-old boy has created a computer learning game that has been developed into an Android app. First grade student Ethan Iona is the brain behind a superhero character and game called Ethan Man. This was launched in Zanzibar to mark the International Day of the African Child, observed annually on June 16. The Ethan Man character is super talented like little Ethan. It writes inspirational books, creates learning games, and takes kids on a multi-learning journeys. Of course, you should be asking how a six-year-old could develop the app for the game. Well, his mother, Irene Kiria, consulted education technology company Island East Africa when she saw her son's passion since he took up the project a year ago while he was in kindergarten. The project involves a series of soft and hard copy books complemented by the app that tells Ethan Mann's stories in the boy's own voice. The stories were actually written by him. Africa indeed has a future and Ethan Mann is the future with all the other children who are working or building their careers in technology. And now to some bad news in the continent. You might have seen a mail or two seeking or asking you to invest some money in a business venture or help save an orphan girl for a share of a late father's wealth which is stuck in Liberia. If you haven't seen any of such mails, don't be alarmed because the scam is targeted at wealthy businessmen and investment companies. One of such scammers is 29-year-old Nigerian man David Chukuneke Adindu. He was arrested in the United States last year for impersonating company executives and clients and then directing employees of those companies to make large wire transfers. This scam is called business email compromise. Last week, Adindu pleaded guilty to taking part in the email scam and defrauding thousands of victims around the world out of millions of dollars. U.S. prosecutors said he resided in both Guangzhou in China and Lagos in Nigeria and worked with others to carry out a scam from 2014 to 2016. He faces a maximum sentence of 20 years and then 15 years in prison for both two conspiracy counts. Take extra care when replying to suspicious emails. And if you are involved in an email scam, you remember Big Brother is watching. Africa is rising and we rise together. My name is Ismail Okwe. This is SciTech.